Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, from our last video, we took our final sketch, we put it over our clay and traced it. Since then, you might have noticed that I cut out my edges using my knife tool just so that I've got the shape a little bit more complete. So today we're going to talk about adding to your clay, so making things pop out. It's called additive method. Uh, and then next time we'll talk about the subtractive method. So from your sketch, you should have figured out what you want to be in the foreground and what you want to pop out. So I have here that I want the B to pop out and I want the O for bow, which is also gonna be the sun to pop out. I am kind of torn about it, but I might add this piece on too, just to make it pop towards me. So we're gonna use this sketch, but for now, I'm gonna kind of pull my slab to the side. Remember, this is a little closer to leather hard. And I've already rolled this other slab, which is a lot softer. It's also a lot thinner. Because it's a wall hanging, we don't wanna add a lot of bulk to our piece. So in this case, anything that I'm adding on, I'm just making a little bit thinner. I'm gonna set it down right over here. So since I know where everything is gonna go, my first step is to simply take my sketch once again, and I'm gonna put it over the other piece of clay, and I'm just gonna trace and cut out. So I'll start with the O or the sun because it's the easiest. If the shape isn't perfect, like for instance, this is not a perfect circle, that's okay because once it's attached on, you can do a lot of cleanup with it. So we can see where I have my circle. Now I could use my knife tool to cut this out, but a lot of times with round forms, it's easier to use your needle tool. And I'm actually gonna start by just cutting that whole area out so that I can kind of go around it a little bit easier. Now, if I hold my needle tool at an angle when I cut, I'm gonna get edges that aren't really straight. So you wanna hold it straight up and down, or now that I've cut a little bit off, what I can do is just kind of slice some chunks off of my circle. Remember, you can do a lot of cleanup details after, so don't stress if the edges aren't perfect, right? This is not a perfect circle. There's a lot I can do to clean it up once it's on there. And I can even take a couple seconds now if I wanted to and just smooth it with my fingers because it's soft enough. All right, so I've got my O figured out or my sun. So in order to attach it, remember we need to slip and score. So I have my slip right here. I'm gonna use my needle tool. And on both areas, we wanna really um, rip up that surface so that they can attach together. Okay, same thing on the back. And then I would just add a little bit of slip. You can dunk it, you can put it on with a fork, whatever is comfortable for you. Now this is a really critical piece. If I just set it here, the chances are that when I set it together, there are gonna be some little gaps with some air pockets and we do not want that. So anytime you attach something on, you wanna start in the middle, you wanna press down, and then you can press out to make sure that you're really getting the air out. You'll know you did this well if you look and you see that all of that slip starts to ooze out of the edges. That means that you're kind of pulling it all through. Now remember what I said, this right now is incomplete, not a perfect circle, but once it has a chance to dry and really attach, then I can go back and do a lot of cleanup when it's more leather hard. Let's talk about the B for mine too, because it's a little more of a complicated shape. So anytime you're attaching something that's a little more complicated, you have some choices. So we still have our drawing that we're working from. So I can take and start tracing it. And I could choose to just cut out a shape that's the whole outside edge, and then I could attach the whole thing, or I could do it in smaller chunks. So for instance, I could take, cut this piece out, slip and score it on. I think it's gonna be easier to do the whole thing. So I am literally gonna go and just do the outside edge. Then when I cut it out, I can attach it on as one big piece. The nice thing about clay, it's very, very forgiving. So if you make any mistakes, we can always add more clay. Um, there are very few times where you have to start all the way over again. All right, I got my B, great example, making a mistake. Look, I didn't really pay attention there, and now I'm missing a part of the B. So once I go to cut this out, then I could go and add another piece in that area. So because it's a complicated object, 
I am just gonna go around the edges, keeping my needle really uh, vertical. It's always better to have a little too much clay that you have to take off than not enough. I've got my little mistake there. But now I've got the basic B form. So what I'm gonna do is slip and score underneath this. I'm gonna attach it on, same thing. I'm gonna press out the inside. And then I can go back and first of all, add that little element back on. But eventually, just so you get the visual of it, I can do what we're gonna learn about next, which is our subtractive method. So I can take and cut away from the clay. So that is the basic of the additive method. So anything that you are adding on, you just have to make sure you slip and score. Don't worry about it being perfect before attaching it because there's lots of time to clean it up after. And with more complicated objects, remember you can just do a big outside shape uh, or you can do the more complicated, which is little piece by little piece. Have a good day, guys.